You ever stumble across something and you wonder if it was meant for your eyes? Almost like you found something and you probably weren't supposed to. I was doing some investigative work on some other stuff and I came across this. Apparently there is a cheat sheet, kind of a study guide for failed journalists. People who went through journalism sucked at it. So they put a book out so you wouldn't suck as bad whenever you actually got a job sucking at journalism. I ran across AP style tip for July, 2022, and it references semi-automatic rifle, assault rifle, assault weapon. Apparently these are search terms that whenever you're trying to search by this in the, their database, you can actually pull those terms up and it will take you to this particular cheat sheet. It says that the preferred term for a rifle that fires one bullet each time the trigger is pulled and automatically reloads for a subsequent shot is a semi-automatic rifle. An automatic rifle continuously fires rounds if the trigger is depressed and until its ammunition is exhausted. Avoid assault rifle and assault weapon, which are highly politicized terms that generally refer to AR or AK style rifles designed for the civilian market, but convey little meaning about the actual function of the weapon. I found that to be very interesting because I know a lot of us get very much infuriated when we see that misuse of a term, knowing that there is no real thing as an assault weapon, because as we commonly say, Anything can be considered an assault weapon if you are assaulting somebody with it. Now, to not get into the weeds, there is an actual term for assault rifle that came about back during World War I, excuse me, World War II. So I can do a story on that later. That is an accurate term, but it's not accurate the way they use it, but that is an actual real term. So I guess it's good to see that maybe we'll be getting less infuriated um, <laughs> so they won't be using incorrect terms quite as much. My gut tells me that most of these journalists are probably not going to follow this lead, even though some may. Uh, and my guess also is that politicians won't be getting this same memo cheat sheet because obviously they're going to continue to call them whatever they want to. Now, just as a side note, I follow their link at the bottom that is APStyleBook.com. And it, apparently there's a whole spiral book on on what to say and what uh, we, we often wonder if all of the people in the journalism world, and I got to use these quotes because they're not true journalists, not from what we've had in the past. But I think we often wonder, do they have a playbook? Because they all seem to be in lockstep with one another. I know the DNC is really, really often putting out terms that they want them to use and use, they use them in lockstep. We see them like timing wise, use them all at the same time. So I kind of wonder if this isn't a similar type thing that when they change a term, maybe they do carte blanche everybody all across the board, just start using it the same way. So be on the lookout for that. See if your local reporters or anybody else that you might follow in any kind of publications, whether it be in writing, radio, or television, see if you think that you notice a difference where they're actually gonna start using the term semi-automatic rifle or automatic rifle. My guess is also they're gonna get it wrong because they're gonna start calling probably everything an automatic rifle now instead of an assault weapon.